The Last Mimsy is an exceedingly weird story about scientists from the future who send a box of trinkets back in time to two kids in hopes that they will give it their DNA, and build an interdimensional bridge to send it back with an intel-stuffed rabbit. It's bizarre, it's mature for its designated viewer age, and it's my kind of party, of course. <laughs> Hello, I'm The Theorizer, and this needs a sequel. I've been holding off on doing this movie ever since I started theorizing, but now we should cover it. But first, watch it of course. Good? Okay then. I want to start by theorizing on something I find much more intriguing than the main plot. I'm starting with the Alice in the Babysitter's Lewis Carroll book. Twitter user Nagini Dies and I were discussing this a bit, and I came to this conclusion. This is, of course, the Alice from Alice in Wonderland and its sequels. What's so mysterious here is that she has a Mimsy doll. Those aforementioned scientists had sent likely dozens of these rabbits into various time periods in the past, and this means that since the Alice in this book had a Mimsy, it means that in this movie's universe, Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland is based off of a true story. In real life, I'm sure it was inspired by a drug trip that went cray-cray in a bad way. In real life, the Alice that Carol created is believed to be somewhat based off of Alice Little, a girl born in 1852. Alice Little, of course, is the name of the Alice in the Babysitter's book as well. The editors photoshopped Mimsy into a famous picture of Little, so we clearly have solid proof that Alice Little received a Mimsy and was a part of the DNA testing. Unfortunately, as Emma says, Alice also needed a brother to help her build Mimsy's bridge back home, and thus, she failed. They say that the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland is Mimsy, and that the looking glass is the time portal that the spinners create. And if this is all true, then I theorize one thing and one thing only. Wonderland is based off of Alice Little's explanation of what she saw the future to be. What I find to be really weird here is that the Mimsy they refer to in the Jabberwocky poem is not the rabbit. It is from the original Lewis Carroll poem and is spelt differently than the rabbit's name. The rabbit's Mimsy has a Z in it. When you spell Mimsy with an S, its definition is basically to be feeble, and this coincidence is too striking to pass up. My thoughts? Mimsy wasn't always named Mimsy. The scientists only hardwired that name into her for Emma, based off of Lewis Carroll's poem, to show Emma that Alice also had a rabbit, and therefore teach her about their plans and how Alice ultimately failed. It's the only explanation here. And it fits swimmingly. Alright, that's quite the establishment I've just made. In this movie's universe, Lewis Carroll based Wonderland off of what Alice Little said she saw through the time portal, and the scientists named Emma's doll's version after a line in Carroll's poem. Let's move on to another aspect of this movie now. I'm going to solve everything I can find. We see that when you stick your face through the looking glass, you see the lab where the scientists are working. That's fairly lacking in the wonder aspect. How could Alice explain a laboratory as such an amazing wonderland? I have an answer, a good one. What Alice saw when she looked through was different than what Emma saw. Emma saw the lab, but what place do we know in the future that looks wonderful and amazing? What place has mystical science, strange structures, and beautiful gardens? The far, far future. The one we see at the very beginning and the very end of the movie. That's what they showed Alice and any girls prior to her. And I personally believe that the reason the scientists showed Emma their current state of dystopia was to motivate her. She was their last resort, their final hope. They can bribe other girls with a beautiful utopia, but they need to further motivate their last resort. Thus, they show her the truth of what'll happen if she doesn't help them. A destroyed planet. The scientists quite literally tell her that her doll is dying, forcing her to cry on it out of sadness. I suppose it's a tad cruel, but it was successful, and they gathered her pure DNA out of the tear. Okay, we just established a whole other point. This is great progress. Alice saw the far utopian future, and Emma was shown the dystopian near future. Alice they were lax with, but since Emma was their last chance, they showed her the near future dystopia that they were living in. Those aliens came in and shot them, but then it was revealed at the end that they were just the scientists' peers dressed up, and the scientists never really died. 
they were continuing to trick Emma. I mean, I know that the alien suits are what helps them survive in the future, but they really went all out with their last resort. GG for science. Alright, let's go to another aspect of the movie. What makes these girls and boys so special? What exactly is it in their DNA? To answer that, we need to know exactly what the scientist's problem is. They say that they want the genes of a pure human, as their future has been mostly destroyed due to an ecological disaster, and their genes have been severely corrupted. But what is it with these specific kids? Emma is apparently the chosen one. Her palms are odd, her brain is odd, her powers are odd, etc. If Noah is the engineer, I get that, he is just her accompanier, but Emma is the creator and it's specifically her, and her only, that is chosen. Why? Well, it's something only analyzable on the genetic scale. She's apparently the mother of the future, so it must be something big in her genes. Maybe her empathy spreads into her genes, and that's why they gave her powers of emotional connection to transfer it. I never knew exactly why she got powers. Noah, I understood, he needed to create the bridge, but Emma? Her powers aren't given a reason to be there. All she really did was set up the spinners, levitate, and use bunny telepathy. Wait, those are all telekinesis, but why does she have it? And that's just the thing. I do believe that she's chosen because of her empathy. Her psychokinesis pulls her empathy through her tears, and she saves the people of the future. We see that the environment has corrupted their emotions as well. We hear that they are hostile and warlike. Empathy is the savior, and Emma is perfect for the job. They never outright say it, but I do believe that the tokos the psychic fiancé was talking about are what Emma and Alice are. Well then, that was all quite something. I don't know, maybe I'll return to The Last Mimsy someday. It's a really good movie. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Here's my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Here's my second and third channels, and here's my recent videos you can watch. Until next time, I'm The Theorizer.